This is Kevin at Rhino Pumps coming at you with three hacks you can use starting tomorrow to impress your boss. Hack number one. All right, just kidding. I'm not going to talk about that today. I don't know anything about that. Let's talk about pumps. Here we have a skid with two pumps on it. Starting at the front. This is a knife gate valve. It's used to isolate the pump from anything else. This is a stainless steel spool piece. This is the workhorse. This is the pump. This is the end suction centrifugal style. Water in, impeller spins, higher pressure out. The mechanical seals right here is used to isolate the wet end from the outside environment. This is the bearing assembly. This is where everything's spinning and taking a bunch of load. There's gonna be two bearings back here, one bearing right here. It's filled with oil to keep it cool. Next is the coupling. This coupling couples together the pump to the motor. Motor's getting electricity, it starts spinning. Pump starts spinning, does all the work. This stack of two pumps is in the middle of getting assembled. We've got a fully assembled Rhino stack here. As you can see, it's slightly different than the one we were talking about originally. This is another end suction. Obviously different make and model, different style. We've got a couple of different pumps over here as well. Each Rhino stack that we make is customizable. It can be tailor fit to hit your heads and flows. These are the primary pumps for the system. This is actually a backup for a fire suppression system. This is the control cabinet for a Rhino stack. Rhino Pumps does all of this in-house, designed, put together, tested. Saves you time and money. Putting together a multi-pump stack for you and your operations for Rhino Pumps is basic pump stuff.